a little bit the Iger on his uh, outside back row position. He'll get up into his spot in plenty of time. 2,190 metres the distance. First of eight on a good track today at Maryborough. Green lights up on top of the gate and they're away and racing. Beginning OK, the favourite for Nukin from the pole, trying to keep the lead early on. Sports update, cruises up to sit second. He's going to try and drop in behind the leader. Though Brendy Bighans driving through to hold that spot third. Up to fourth, but deep out Grand Siesta. It's looking to drop into the one-out, one-back trail. Pure Aussie's trapped on a limb, being sent forward three deep. Lady Kristen is on the markers three back early on. The Igers four back on its back. And then Star Class Falcon, who's racing third last in the running line, followed up by Prince Bonton. And Cornway is last of all after ease back, being eased back at the start. Now going up along the inside 20 off the leader down the back straight the first time and Fanukin is the pacemaker leading the way toward the 1600 meter mark he's been able to slow the speed down to suit himself Graham Wilson after keeping out all the challenges from the pole pure Aussie moves up into second spot and third on the inside is Brendy Behan getting a nice cozy trip 1-1 one, one is sports update so the two first starters there side by side then came Lady Kristen who's racing fifth on the markers followed by Grand Siesta who is three back on the outside at the moment but Caldo's off now on star class Falcon quickly whipping around the field and from third last about to go up into second spot and uh, put some pressure to this leader for Nukin who's had a pretty easy time of it third last the Iger it's racing four back along the rubber pegs from Prince Bonton second to last and Cornway on the inside is last of all lead time 44.7 the first quarter and only 33.5 so for Nukin out in front has had it pretty easy and leads by three metres on Star Class Falcon, who got up outside of the leader quite cheaply in the end. And third in the box seat is Brendy B. Harness enjoyed a nice cosy trip on its stake. Boo and poised to use the Peter Egan Retrovision sprint lane. Pure Aussie has some cover now fourth. Fifth on the inside, Lady Kristen. Over in the running line next is Sports Update. Shuffle back to sixth. Prince Bonton moves up around its outside three wide, being followed up by Cornway. Over on the inside, the Iger, he's badly snookered on the marker line. Third last, back last of all with him is Grand siesta they're racing down the back straight the final time 32.5 for the second quarter and at the 650 there's only 18 meters covering them they're packed up and for Nukin is the leader by a meter held back to them second star class falcon yet to be called upon brendy behan behind the leader waits for the run on the peter egan retrovision sprint lane prince bonton leads up the three wide line of fourth but just reined up in the middle pure Aussie needs a way through cornway 10 off the leader with a three wide trail from sports update they've dropped off lady Kristen, and then grand siesta under the whip and the Igers held up 20 29 neat the third quarter. The sprint's right on now at the top end. For Nukin leads a metre. Star class Falcon won't go away second. Prince Bonton chiming in three deep. No run, pure Aussie. Brendy Behan's getting the sprint lane now and trying to weave through Cornway. For Nukin's in front of out white Prince Bonton. Brendy Behan winding up on the sprint lane, coming quickly. Prince Bonton for Nukin. Brendy Behan, but it's for Nukin in front. And for Nukin, well, just hang on and win it by a half ahead on Prince Bonton. Third's very close. Brendy Behan, I think, might have just held third from the fast finishing. Cornway, then Star Class Falcon and Pure Aussie, further back to the Iger, Grand Siesta, Lady Kristen, and Sports Update, the last one home, the final quarter in 30.3. Favourite on track, may even run the favourite on the tote now. It's into 2.30, and out safely star 2.40. Now they look to be right. Tapes release, and they're on their journey now. Coming out galloping was Yu Rang, and it came back, oh, almost getting tipped out of the sulky. Julie's equities driver, Ozzy Mifsud, and Typhonic got Polax there, and it's lock wheels badly with Yu Rang. Stepping away well was our safely star. Gem Flight booting up, trying to keep it out, but it couldn't. It went over one of the pegs there, Gem Flight. Uh, which got flung back into the field, but the leader now is our safely star, having crossed the first start at Gem Flight, 10 metres to Finney Kane third. Julie's Equity is up to uh, fourth now, and about 10 metres away in fifth position, was layback. Around it was Gentle Joy. Next came uh, Miss Rexable, and a long gap to the other two, who are surely out of contention now, and they are Typhonic and Yurang, passing the 1600 with a lead time of 40.7. And the leader at the 1500 metres is our safely star with Sebastian Steenhouse. Eight metres in front of Gem Flight. Finya Kane away from the marker line third, so it's without cover. And Julie's Equity getting a nice run now on the 1-1. One, one. Three back the inside was Layback. And then in the running line was Gentle Joy. Last of the main body of the field was Miss Rexable. And about 50 metres away uh, to the other two, which were Yu Rang and also Typhonic. 1,200 left to go, the first quarter in 34.6, and the leader is out safely star. 1,100 left to travel, and at six metres in front, Finya Kane was second, and on the pegs, third was Gem Flight. In the 1-1 was Julie's Equity, the filly. Three back the inside 
was uh, lay back and on its south side was Gentle Joy. Next came Miss Rexable and about 15 metres away to Yu Rang and Typhonic. 900 left to travel, our Safely Star slowed them right down and it's two metres in front. Finn Kane second, Gem Flight on the leader's back and Julie's Equity is fourth but well poised to the 800. Fifth on the inside of it as they head out of the straight now uh, was lay back around it was Gentle Joy. The second quarter was 35.1. Now Gentle Joy is racing fifth on the outside of Layback and then came uh, Miss Rexable and the other two which were tailed off have tacked on you rang and Typhonic heading down the back the final time and it's our safely star in the lead. Upping the tempo now over Finn Ukane. Julie's equity is on the outside of Gem Flight and now easing out three wide Gentle Joy. 400 left to travel, our safely start, two metres in front of Finya Kane, leader being called on, Finya Kane gets closer, Julie's equity late waiting for one sprint at them, and then came Gem Flight and around the outside Gentle Joy. 30.6 the third quarter. Our safely star just in front of Finya Kane. Now Julie's Equity coming out five metres off the lead. Kicking back though is our safely star from Finya Kane. Julie's Equity wider. It's our safely star. Finya Kane getting level. Finya Kane's put its nose in front with 20 metres to go. And Finya Kane won it. Finya Kane from our safely star and Julie's Equity. Uh, then came Miss Rexable, which made ground from Gem Flight. Next time was Layback. And then came Gentle Joy from Yu Rang and Typhonic, final quarter 29.1. Ladies and gentlemen, after running of race number three to Tradelink Plumbing Supplies, three year old paces handicap, and number three, Finucane, taking out the event for Graham Wilson, who trains and drives his horse for uh, his mother. And uh, that will be a nice family affair uh, tonight, uh, Graham, with that performance by Finucane. Congratulations. Thank you very much, mate. Uh, yeah, it was, it was good. It was a nice little horse. He deserves. He deserves a win because he, he does everything right and his manners help him all the time and that makes all the difference. We're having a little bit of a laugh. We, we know that we don't usually see you in the breeze. You like taking usually all the shortcuts home along the inside, but tonight uh, you drove the horse with a lot of confidence. Yeah, well, I drove him pretty confident at Warrigal the other day, but they fixed me, so I thought I'll go out in the death seat and, and I, held, I held the race from there. I controlled it. I knew I had Aussie on me back and I thought he'd beat me, but my race fitness beat him. That was all because he's got a good mare, but still... I'm happy. Oh, I'm sure you are. And uh, you, you, you got a few in work at the moment, Graeme? No, only three. Yeah. Duffel Coat Fly is one of them? Yes, he's in Monday at Kilmore. Well, excellent. Well, uh, it'll be a nice, win uh, nice uh, trip home tonight. So congratulations on a terrific drive and a good training performance. Well done. Thank you very much. Good on you, Graeme. Uh, Graeme Wilson, always good to catch up with Graeme. And uh, terrific performance by Finya Kane taking out uh, the third event after uh, putting up a pretty good performance at Warrigal last start behind the smart Windy Hill Bomber. And tonight he had to do it fairly tough sitting outside the leader. And he was just a little bit too strong for uh, his rivals. The, the attendant called out to help uh, John Caldo and straighten up Zappa Costa. John Caldo with the Australian gold uh, colours as he silks. The sale's not far away. Your chance to buy a champion. Tapes released now and they're on their journey. And uh, stepping away well was Typhonic nearer the inside. And fast out also was our safely star back in the field. Girl on a mission and Sir Brendan made contact. May have even uh, locked wheels for a short distance. Trying to lead our safely star, but Typhonic has the inside and keeps it at bay at the moment. Eight metres away, Gem Flight goes through on the pegs in the third spot. And they're out by about ten metres to Finn Kane, who's through most of the traffic up to fourth. Zappa Costa off the pegs was fifth and then five metres away, Layback. Another five metres away, Girl on a mission. Next the inside was a little bit classy and back to last is Sir Brendan. They head into the back of the 1600 metres and the leader is Typhonic. Settles five metres in front. Our safely star second and on the pegs third was Jim Flight. Ending up in the 1-1 one -one was Finn Kane. So Graham Wilson did a terrific job to get through the traffic and end up in that lovely position. Fifth on the inside, a little bit classy, saving ground the pegs. Around it was Zappa Costa and then one off the pegs tracking Zappa Costa was layback. Second last is Girl on a Mission. And about eight metres away, Sir Brendan. Lead time, 40.1 from the standing start. And the leader is Typhonic. Bill Pace in the sulky, and it leads two metres to our safely star, the favourite. Tucked away third was Gem Flight, enjoying a nice trail. On its outside, Finya Kane is fourth. A little bit classy, fifth, and three back along the inside of Zappa Costa. And then third last is Layback. About to commence the move was Sir Brendan from the rear. And on the pegs, girl on a mission. First quarter, 32.2. And with a circuit left to travel. Runs are coming now. It's Typhonic in front. Second out safely star. Now Zappacosta's moving up out three deep. And on the pegs in fourth position was Gem Flight. 
In between runners was Finn Kane, lay back three wide, and is tracking Zappa Costa. Then a little bit classy on the inside of Girl on a Mission. And out three wide to Brendan, is at the rear, 20 metres off the lead. 32.4 the second quarter, turning into the back to final time. And Typhonic is the leader at three metres in front of second out safely star. Then Zappa Costa, three deep, leader being urged along. Fourth on the inside, Gem Flight. Finya Kane's right up amongst it all, but he's locked it away at the moment. Fifth in the middle, pulling out very wide now as they head off the, uh, the back. Uh, was lay back, it's out about four deep, and then further out on the track was Sir Brendan. Passing the 400, 30.4 the third quarter. On the inside, Typhonic is being headed now by our safely star. Dapper Costa, three outs, moved up to second. Finya Kane in need of a run, and then Gem Flight held up as well. Our safely star leads Zappa Costa into the straight. Finya Kane into the clear. Layback was further out, then Gem Flight. Our safely star in front. Finya Kane's coming through now. Finya Kane and Zappa Costa are lifting. Finya Kane, Zappa Costa, Finya Kane. Finya Kane beats Zappa Costa. Our third's pretty close. Out wider was the layback, and close up also was Girl on a Mission. From our safely star, he got swallowed up the last little bit, then a little bit classy gem flight. And towards the end, Typhonic, you weakened Sir Brendan just up ahead of it. Final quarter, 29.9. Couple of roughies saluting in the first two races. The third event, see how they go. Favourite for Nukin already. Over the flying mile and the Rick McLean designer shower screens gate speeds away from the field. Accelerator from wide out taken back at the start for Nukin. The favourite has run the gate and has run it quickly and goes out to lead by six metres into the first turn. Avros Honey's trying to drive up along the inside and hold its back. Up to second is Miss Sensation but without cover. And then came Echelon Capri who's moved up into fourth place 1-1. Fifth over on the inside is Gobbo, second last James Arthur C and Accelerator is back last of the seven and around 18 metres off the leader. First quarter of the mile in 28.7, so a quick first quarter and now Graham Wilson trying to steady up on the favourite for Nukin. He takes them down the straight to get the bell, leading by three metres. Up in the breeze, second is Miss Sensation, having to do it the hard way without cover. Third on the inside, getting a nice cosy trip is Avros Honey. Fourth is Echelon Capri. 950 to run, fifth over on the inside, locked away, three back the pegs. Is Sagobo on its outside came James Arthur C. And Accelerator still sees them all, still around 20 off the leader. At the halfway marker of the race, 32.9, they slowed down for the second quarter. And Finucan has had a good run at the head of affairs. He came out flying and he's still out three metres in front of Miss Sensation. Third the inside, Avros Honey waiting for the RNS grading sprint lane. He's on a loose rein though by the same token as Fanuk and just got away. Stepped up the pace of the 500 metre mark and looks to be going great guns. Three deep echelon Capri moving around a tiring Miss Sensation. Back on the inside, Gobbo ranged up. Well back, James Arthur C and Accelerator. Well, he need to be pretty fast to get into it from back there. He's coming four deep at around 20 off Fanuk who corners well out in front. 28.9 for the third quarter. No wonder he's well clear. Fanukin into the stretch. He's well out in front of Echelon Capri, who's trying to reel him in. Avros Honey battling on. Accelerator James Arthur C boxing on, looking a minor chance, but it's all Fanukin holding Echelon Capri. And Fanukin has run them ragged. The favourite home, Fanukin first by eight metres, second Echelon Capri. Third home over on the inside, Avros Honey. Then came Accelerator and James Arthur C. A break to Gobbo and Miss Sensation tired to run last. The final quarter, 29.7. The time for the mile, 2 minutes, point one. Ladies and gentlemen, we are come to the trophy presentation for race three, uh, the Terasaki Breakers pace here at Cranbourne. Tonight here at Cranbourne, we have the NHP people uh, as our guests. They're having a great night out up in the committee room and we're really uh, pleased to have them along here with us. Um, I'm not going to speak any longer. I'm going to hand over to John... Italiano and he's got his wife Lucy here with him to help him do the presentation to Josie Wilson. Okay, congratulations uh, Josie and uh, to uh, Finya Kane on the uh, first place and we happen to pick the winner as well, or oh, my wife did anyway. Congratulations. Okay. Thanks John, thanks very right. much. Thank you very much thank indeed. You. She will hold it oh, you okay. got it. Yeah, you want Ladies and gentlemen, um, I'd like to thank the Cranbourne Harness Racing Club, um, the committee, all the people involved. It's a special night for, for us, Graham and myself and the family. Um, as Graham's dad was a foundation, a foundation member of this club many years ago. The horse is owned by 
uh, my mother-in-law, Edna, and it's a big thrill. And I'd also like um, to say a special um, to um, the Gary Taylor family. Um, they lost um, their wife and their mum the other day. It's very sad, but um, we'll all stick together. Thank you very much. Joel go forward with Kia Traction, Nan's Babe drawn in two. It's hard on the gate. Finney Kane the inside as the pole. Just waiting for Regal Sun and Rough Cut Fred. This one's over the uh, 2150, two and three quarter circuits. They're ready. Away in race. Nan's Babe drops back through the field early. Finney Kane has speed. So does Bold Joel who heads it in the early part and Kia Traction to third. Working around them is Tonga Eau Claire, three wide, racing on the outside, Nan's Babe in the centre. Back on the inside next is Who's They, followed by the Jocker by itself. My Alan Luke has got back towards the tail, behind it Regal Sun, and Rough Cut Fred is last of the ten. As they head towards the home corner and Finney Kane at leads, it's the pilot by about four metres, Kia Traction follows, and on the outside facing the breeze is Tonga Eau Claire. Back on the inside, three back is Who's They, and the one one is Bold Joel, and they were followed by Nan's Babe on the outside of My Ella Luke. Back next Next in the running line is the Jocker, then followed by Regal Sun, and the last one still is Rough Cut Fred, past the post and the mile, and Finney Kane's got away by six metres here on Kia Traction, running second right behind the speed on the inside of Tonga Eau Claire, three back along the markers is Who's They, on the inside of Bold Joel, the 1-1, one, one. five metres Nan's Babe on the outside of My Ella Luke, and behind them comes the Jocker, second last five metres away is Regal Sun, and five metres Rough Cut Fred. No change, the orders are head down the back, and they're now looking for the 1200, and Finney Kane leads by four metres. Meters. Doing the hard yard second is Tonga Eau Claire on the outside of Kia Traction. Bold Joel is in the centre now. About to go forward is Nance Babe. Back on the inside is Who's There as they head off the back. They were followed by the Jocker. Male Luke back on the inside and then followed by Regal Sun. The last one is Rough Cut Fred as they head off the back and down towards the home corner with about a lap and a quarter left to travel and Finney Kane by three metres. Tonga Eau Claire second. It's racing at the girth of the leader and tucked away third is Kia Traction. It's enjoying a nice run just behind the tempo followed by Bold Joel. It's in the one one. Now back on the inside is Who's They, then followed by Nan's Babe, my Ella Luke. Back in uh, the running line is the Jocker, then followed by Regal Sun, and Rough Cut Fred is last. Down by the post, one second left to go. Finney Kane by three metres. Tonga Claire second. It won't go away, and back on the inside. Uh, right behind the speed is Kia Traction being shaken along there. Then followed by Bold Joel and the one one on the inside. Who's They struck in traffic from Nan's Babe, my Ella Luke. Then followed by the Jocker, who's travelling nicely towards the tail. Regal Sun, and behind it, Rough Cut Fred. The speed increases towards the 600 and Finney Kane by three metres, Tonga Eau Claire on the outside Kia Traction still waiting for a run third and then followed by Bold Joel on the outside next is Who's They on the inner of Nan's Babe, peeling out as Regal Sun around them, the Jocker got shuffled back to now second last on its inside, My Ella Luke and the last one is Rough Cup Fred as they help the back with around 300 left to go, they haven't run down Finney Kane let, it still leads by five metres, Tonga Eau Claire, Kia Traction and then followed by Who's They, who's buried away on the inside, Bold Joel getting out Regal Sun down the outside, Finney Kane at the 100 still lead from Tonga Eau Claire. Now getting out is Who's They along the inside. Down the outside is Regal Sun. Still in front though, Finney Kane. Who's They challenging, but it's Finney Kane. Finney Kane from Who's They. Either Kia Traction getting through or Regal Sun down the outside for the Miners. Then followed by Tonga Eau Claire. Then followed by the Jocker behind those along with Joel's, uh, Bold Joel behind them. And then, then followed by Nan's Babe. And a rough cut Fred is amongst the tail enders. Mark with a length advantage. Finucan is easing back for some cover now. Is going up to sit outside of the leader as Amazing Albert. He's going up fast, the big fellow. Peacock wielding the whip and is looking for the front. He's about to roll on by, so Amazing Albert takes it up with a lap and a quarter to go. Heartbeat True grabbed the hold off to take, to take some cover in second. Finucan is now third, still without cover. And of the Navigators, 1-1. One, one. More money, honey's off and around them. Three wide with a mid-race move. So there's been plenty of action. Matter of money is now three back the inside. On its back, Paula I do. Camwood Elsie is back fourth last. Third last, Regal Sun. Around Lindley Lane, who dropped down onto the pegs and at the rear, intoxicating. It's got some work ahead of it. The Toad favourite, still around 25 off the leaders. But they've gone quickly. 42-3 lead time, 29-8 for the first quarter. And racing toward the 800-metre mark. 
The leader is Amazing Elvis, leading by a couple of metres on for Nukin. More Money Honey is coming up three wide to third. Hearts Beat True is right behind the leader, and now waiting its chance on the base water, Jayco Sprint Lane. Out of the Navigators in the middle, Camwood Elsie on the three wide trail up. Matter of Money is three back the inside. Now it's under lock and kit, it's a matter of trying to get out of the pocket. And out deep on the track, Regal Sun, three wide, three back. Lindley Lane's weaving up in the middle. Back on the pegs, Paul I do an intoxicating, still sees them all. A bunching field. Rocks have just eased up the pace a bit up front. 30.8 for the second quarter. 400 metre mark now left behind them. 30 seconds for the third quarter. It's amazing Albert for Nukin. Head and head. Three wide, more money, honey. Four wide, Camwood Elsie. No run, hearts beat through. Hannah Navigator. Paul Leroy Do's getting through under Lily Lane. Regal Sun's deeper. Held up intoxicating in matter of money. Good finish coming up. Camwood Elsie went up to amazing Albert. And for Nukin in the middle. Hearts beat true. Deep out, Paul Leroy Do's starting to run on. No sign of intoxicating. For Nukin's in front from amazing Albert. Camwood Elsie, Hannah Navigator. But for Nukin, he's too good. For Nukin, parks out and too tough wins at four metres. Kind of a navigator just grabs second, pipping out Amazing Albert or Camwood Elsie. Good three-way go, the minus. Then matter of money, intoxicating. Paul I do, Lindley Lane, more money, honey. Hutt's beat true and Regal Sun at the rear. Last quarter was 31. Table's pace and they're racing. And coming out of the gate quickly were El Sarto and also Red Gums got some early speed. Over on the inside was Cabildo Alley. Slotting into a nice spot was Land Ruler 1-1 by the first turn. Then came Ahoka Direct, which is fifth and three back the inside from Finucane. Next is Flight of Folly running into the first bend and Bert Nooney around it. About eight metres away, but settling third last is Gringotts as they go into that uh, turn. Uh, it's uh, back towards the end of the field now. Atomic Dawn, Gringotts and Wiz Kid. They go into the back and they are uh, whizzing around from the uh, tail of the field. Here is the Wiz Kid living up to his name. And he very quickly is pressing on around, trying to tackle Red Gum for the lead. And they slap on the speed now because Wizkid drew four metres clear and crosses Red Gum. So in the space of about 200 metres, Wizkid went from last to go to first. 44.8 the lead time. Wizkid in front from Red Gum second, three back along the inside El Sato. And outside of it, Land Ruler, as the speed just slowed down a fraction there, it was able to pop up uh, without cover. In fourth spot, Finn Kane. Four back the inside, Cabildo Rally, Bert Nooney around it. A hoke of uh, directors now five back the inside from uh, Atomic Dawn. And at the tail of the field, a flight of folly, and on its outside was Gringotts. Finu Kane left a 1-1 one, one to move around Land Ruler. First quarter in 31.3. And the leader coming down the straight with a lap to travel is Wizkid. Outside of it was Finu Kane. Third, Red Gum. Fourth is Land Ruler with a lap to go. Fifth on the inside, El Sarto from Bert Nooney, the favourite. He's well placed, three back the outside, and he's keen to go quicker. Next, uh, buried away on the inside, Cabildo Rally. And then came Atomic Dawn. Uh, Hoka Direct is in a traffic jam and needing luck. It's third last on the inside from Gringotts and Flight of Folly. Second quarter was 33.8. Wiz Kid in front. Outside of it, Finn Kane. And then Red Gum from Land Ruler. Bert Nooney is poised. He's about to be let down. He looks like he's got plenty there, three back the outside. Then on the pegs was El Sarto. Cabildo Rally got one off. Uh, on its outside was Atomic Dawn, then Flight of Folly. Wider Gringotts and last and held up as a hokey direct. They bunch up off the back straight. And the leader is Wizkid by a neck. Second is Finu Kane. Moving up three wide land ruler. Bert Nearly still chomping on the bit behind them. Red Gums behind the leading trio. Bert Nearly's about to peel four deep and be let down. Third quarter in 30.3. Wizkid led Finn Kane. Land Ruler and now Bert Nooney comes out after them. And then further back then to Atomic Dawn and Gringotts. Land Ruler tackled by Bert Nooney. Down the outside was Gringotts. Trying to kick on nearer the inside though was Finn Kane. Finn Kane does kick on and Finn Kane won it. Finn Kane, a good odds from Bert Nooney. And wide out Gringotts. Then came not far away Wizkid and also Atomic Dawn. A Hoka Direct uh, didn't really have the best of uh, luck or a clear passage. Cabildo Rally, Red Gum, and then came El Sato, Flight of Folly and Land Ruler. 28-7 was the final quarter. 55, well, it was George on Vets' advice. So try line into $1.50, and if you're still alive for daily doubles and quaddies and you had either one or eight, you go straight on to try line uh, Set the rum. Racing now, and Zippy Zillionaire came out very quickly and went straight to the lead. Village Jim began fast. On the inside, Finucane trails the leader. Then the Romantic Arty, about 10, 12 metres away to Tango Tango. On the inside of Valley Echo, and the favourite tri-liner is last. 
and must be 25 metres off the lead early. Zippy Zillionaires out in front, leads three metres. Village Jim without cover. Panukin is on the inside, one out, one back, Romantic Art here. Then Tango, Tango, Valley Echo. They're just starting to close the gap on the main division now, and last of all was Tri-Liner. Zippy Zillionaires out in front, leads three metres over Village Jim, no pace on. Panukin next, then Romantic Art here. Tango, Tango, third last, Village Echo second last, and last of all was Tri-Liner, still 25 metres off the lead. The lead time was 42.9. Zippy Zillionaire in front. Leads three metres over Village Jim. Fanukin third, waiting for the Bayswater Jaco sprint lane. One out, one back was Romantic Arty. Then Tango, Tango, Valley Echo. And Tri-Liner is last of all. Zippy Zillionaire turns into the straight. 1,200 left to travel. First quarter has been posted in 32.7. So he's had a nice run. Zippy Zillionaire, three metres clear over Village Jim and Fanukin. One out, one back, Romantic Arty. Then Tango, Tango, Valley Echo. And and Tri-Liner, the odds-on favourite, last of all, just starting to angle three wide to commence her run, but she's still 25 metres off the lead. Zippy Zillionaire's in front, and the turn out of the straight, 900 to run. Lead three metres over Village Jim. The inside, Fanukin, one up, one back, Romantic Arty. Out three wide, Tri-Liner, and she's picked up the ground very quickly. Looks to be jogging, moved up on the outside and joined the leaders quickly. Valley Echo on the back of Tri-Liner, and Tango Tango last in the pack. Field. Next quarter, 33-7, 66.4 for the half. In front was Zippy Zillionaire, but Village Jim moved up on the outside and poked his head in front. Zippy Zillionaire using the advantage of the inside, driving back. Tri-Liners, three wide. On the inside, Fanukin and Romantic Arty, Valley Echo and Tango Tango. Down the back in 27 and 5. They were moving. Zippy Zillionaire in front from Village Jim. Tri-Liners struggling. Valley Echo, four wide for Nuka to the base with a Jayco sprint lane. Romantic Arty can't get a crack at them. Village Jim, Zippy Zillionaire for Nuka. Romantic Arty gets the slither. Village Jim, Zippy Zillionaire for Nuka. Out wide of Valley Echo. Village Jim in front for Nuka. Flying. Got up, I reckon. Maybe for Nuka. The nose to Village Jim, but it's close. Zippy Zillionaire third, then Valley Echo, Tango Tango, Romantic Arty. The odds on favourite try line has run last. 29 5 the final quarter. The last half and 57 seconds flat, mile rate 229, a photo finish.